YouTube channel. Shall we continue? Hopefully all of you already viewed my part 1. So this is actually part 2 because I didn't realize I take so long for part 1. So this part 2, I will talk about the solution. If you forget about what I taught in part 1, please look back part 1. Where should I put? I don't know. At the bottom maybe, part 1, okay? So guys, this part 2 is talking back about one solution, infinity solution, and no solution. Just in case you guys forget, I repeat again what I taught you on the previous video. So, three, I'm talking about from 4 chapter 3, system of equation, and I'm still teaching about 3.1. And I already say 3.1, you will have three answer. Remember, three variables. So normally, you guys will get three answer. And that three answer, what method you guys can do? You guys can use substitution method, which is sub 1 into 2, this kind of method. Or you guys can use elimination method, which is using plus or minus, something like that. I hope you guys still remember that. And today, I will do the part that I didn't cover on the previous video. On the previous video, the questions I did all got one answer, correct? One solution. But for today, I will do those who have infinity solution and no solution. So just in case you guys forget what I thought, remember, one solution is because the three plane every single linear equation represents one plane so the three plane only touch one point that's the reason okay one point yeah that's the reason there's only one answer which is majority of the case but if the three plane will intersect each other on one particular line if there's a line that means they will have plenty of point so plenty of point that's the reason you got unlimited answer unlimited answer how you know when they have infinity solution when you left side get a zero right side also get a zero when both side you get zero then yep that is infinity solution then maybe sometimes the three plane didn't intersect each other at all they were just maybe two of them intersect but another one maybe here okay so three of them didn't intersect my pen maybe confuse you Three of them didn't intersect each other like together like that. No, they actually separated. So two of them will intersect, but not three of them together. So you have no answer for three of them together. So there's no solution. No solution then, you one side will get zero. Another side, you just won't get zero. Whatever number it can be, but it's just not zero, okay? So on this particular case, just like that, this is the introduction. So I repeat again, because I hope you remember. If not, really, view back the previous video. Don't know where, but yeah, somewhere, okay? So guys, remember, you only have two methods to do, substitution or elimination, okay? Both methods I already taught you on the previous video, and both methods will normally come to one answer, okay? So there's one solution. So today, I will cover infinity solution and no solution. So shall we? So this is what you guys did last week, last video. Not sure it's last week. I don't know when I will upload it. So let's look at this one. Okay, so again, what method I can use? I can use sub, I can use um, eliminate, correct? Usually in class, I will use sub. So I think a lot of students' substitution is quite good. So this time, I will use eliminate because I feel like your eliminate will be actually weaker compared to substitution. So again, if my speed is too fast, you can pause the video and digest. So, or you can slow down on the left side of that. There's a setting button. You can try to reduce my speed, okay? So, it can just fit you, okay? This is the best thing about video, okay? You can control the way I speed, control, control the speed, control the speed of my video, control when I stop speaking, when I continue speaking, everything. You can control it, okay? So, let's look at this. So again, they give you three equations. Let's call it one, two, three. So I have no space. I'll just put it on top, okay? Equation one, two, three. So I'm going to use elimination. I repeat, elimination. I repeat what I say last week, okay? So last class, okay? Last video, okay? So usually you have three unknown. So the three unknown, you must slowly reduce it. You can slowly reduce from three unknown, become two unknown. And from two unknown, become one unknown. That is always how you guys get the answer. So now I got three equations, correct? So how do I do it? So out of these three equations, just choose one unknown to make it similar so they can re they can eliminate later. So I got 3x, 5x, 14x. Not, none of them same. I got 5y, 2y, 17y. None of them same again. So I got 2z, 
four Z and two Z. Again, none of them same. But I realize Z is the easiest because at least it's two, four, two. You know that the two can times two and become four, then all of them will be the same. So it looks like easier in that way. So I'll choose Z, okay? So for me to do Z, you're gonna make both of them same. Let's say I'm doing the first two. So both of them is not the same, then never mind. I will make them the same. So two, how to become four suddenly? You can times two, correct? So six times two, three times two, six. 5 times 2, 10. 2 times 2, 4. 13 times 2, 26. Isn't it equation 4 now? And right after I times 2, do you realize finally this and this look the same now? Correct? So both of them is Z, 4Z and 4Z. So potential to make it disappear. So how do you guys make it disappear? So you guys will try to join two equation 2 and equation 4 together. Don't tell me, uh, teacher, can I using, okay, you normally you guys can use plus or can using minus. You don't simply guess, you just think it by yourself. So, if I using this one, minus this one, uh, this one, plus this one, okay? A lot of students will talk about plus, okay? So, if you're using plus, will they disappear? Think yourself. Negative 4 plus negative 4. Negative, positive, negative. Isn't it? It will become negative 8. So plus is not a good choice because eventually the Z will still be there. But if I am you, I'll maybe think about, maybe I'll think about minus. Let's think about minus, yeah? Negative 4 minus negative 4. Negative, negative, positive. Negative 4 plus 4, 0. Okay, that means I should use minus because minus will make the Z disappear. So let's try to do it. So let's using equation 2 minus equation 4. As you guys don't know, again, write, down, write it down. So equation 2, I will just copy on top. Equation 4, I will just copy at the bottom. Isn't it? I'm using equation 2 minus equation 4. Let's see what we left now, okay? So negative 5 minus, yeah, don't mistake, yeah. Negative 5 minus 6. Everything don't know, press calculator, okay? Negative 11x. Negative 2y minus 10 negative 12y this one again i scared you guys forget negative 4 minus negative 4 negative negative positive isn't it become zero correct 20 minus 26 negative 6 okay i finish minus then this is what i get for now okay so do you realize from 3 alone i try to eliminate the z off and now i only left x and y which is only two unknowns left correct there's always a step for you to do it so let's continue for equation the next equation which is the equation three so let's say now i'll try to join two and three together so how do i join two and three together again i'll try to make them the same so this one is four z but this one is two z it's not the same but it's fine the two i can times two so let's do the same thing again 14 times 2 28 17 times 2, 34. 2 times 2, 4. Negative 19 times 2, negative 38. Isn't it like that? This is equation 4. No, no, no. I already have 4 just now. Equation 5. We lost count, sorry. So equation 5, correct? So now do you realize this for that and this for that again is the same now. Correct? So how do you guys make it disappear? So I'll try to join 2 and 5 together now, okay? So I'll try to join these two, I'll try to join these two, okay? So now 2 and 5, how do I join them together? Using plus or using minus, you can actually think by yourself. So negative 4, if I plus the 4, will they become 0? Yes, negative 4 plus 4 is only 0. So I'm not using minus this time, I will use plus. So it's only equation 2 plus equation 5. Let me again read for you guys. Equation 2, I will just copy on top here. Correct? Equation 5, I will just copy at the bottom here. Isn't it this? Is how we plus them together. So let's see what we left now. So negative 5 plus negative 28. Don't know, can press calculator. Negative 5 plus negative, haven't go out. Negative 5 plus negative 28. Negative 33. Okay, negative 2 plus negative 34, negative 36y. Okay, negative 4 plus positive 4, isn't it 0? You just press calculator, okay? 
20 plus negative 38, negative 80. Isn't it? This is my leftover. Can you see that? And right after of this moment, do you realize just now got x, y, z, three unknown, but now only left x and y. X and y. Successfully only left two unknown. So right after you guys get two unknown, then how do you guys continue? So from three unknown, become two unknown. From two unknown, you're going to make it one unknown. Then only you guys can get the answer. So these two unknown, you can still use the elimination, but I see the number a bit. You can still use the elimination or you can actually use the substitution, okay? So let's say, will you guys use the elimination? Let's say you guys want to use elimination. I continue using elimination, okay? So now let's say I want to make the x disappear. How do I make the x disappear? Do you guys realize this x is 11, this x is 33. It's not the same, right? So you guys can make them the same by times 3. Okay? So this one, if I times 3, 11 times 3, 33. 12 times 3, 36. 6 times 3, 18. Isn't it like that? I got equation 6 and I got equation 7. Never stop label them so you know you know what equation you're doing now. So I got 6 and 7 and most important, isn't it? They are unknown now. Look the same. Correct? So now I can continue combine these two together. In the exam, we need to draw the, 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 the bracket symbol. Okay, I just try to show you because I'm a, as a teacher, I scared you guys don't know where I'm talking about now. So Zinni B is what you guys have. So negative 33, how to set off the negative 33? So Zinni, you should negative 33 plus negative 33. No, it's not a good choice because negative, 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 if you have positive, then it will become negative 66. Who are negative 66? So isn't it you guys should choose one of it minus another one? Because if I minus it off, it will be negative 33 plus 33. Then it will be zero at the end. Can you see that? So that means this time round, we do it. So isn't it we can take equation six, correct? minus equation 7 as what we just now said so equation 6 let me copy on top here equation 7 let me copy down at the bottom here correct now we are using equation 6 minus equation 7 on this point of time you should realize they look the same but doesn't matter i can still do it for you negative 33 minus negative 33 do not press calculator yeah zero zero I should just cut for you because it disappeared. Negative 36 minus negative 36, zero as well. So the whole left side, I get zero. Negative 18 minus negative 18, okay? I also get zero. So don't feel too weird that you don't get any answer at all. Do you remember based on the top, based on the starting of what I say today? So whenever your left side gets zero, right side gets zero, left and right, both sides get zero, right? That means they have infinity solution that means they have a lot of answer that's the only reason you left side get zero right side get zero just like that this is the questions for infinity solution so after infinity solution let me now try to show you no solution so this is a brand new questions let's again start it i think by now you should know how to do it already i make it slightly faster so again i got equation one equation two and equation three correct again i will use elimination so out of everything there, let's say I try to eliminate x, okay? So do you guys realize here is x, here also x. Quite easy because both of them also single x. I feel like I can straight away submit it. So I can straight away, <coughs> I can straight away eliminate it. So let's say I use equation 1 minus equation 2. So again, I copy equation 1 on top. Okay? I copy equation 2 at the bottom. Like that, correct? So x dollar x. 0, 2 minus negative 1. Not too sure, can press calculator. 2 minus negative 1 is 3y. Okay? z minus z. 0, 4 minus 1. 3. Y answer I get 1. That is why I get. Well, straight away get the y answer. Quite happy because from 3 unknown, normally reduce to 2 and then reduce to 1, but straight away now, straight away reduce to 1. Can you see that? But no, no, no matter what, just continue to do it. So right after like that, isn't it? Now I can maybe try to combine these two together again. How do I combine these two? So just now I guess using x, now you should try to eliminate x as well. So how do I eliminate x? You must make both of the x same. So this x is 2x, but this x is 1x. They are not the same. Never mind, I can make them the same. The 1x I can times 2 again, correct? x times 2, 2x. y times 2, negative 2y. z times 2. 2z. 
one times two, two. Correct? Equation four. On this moment, do you realize I make both of the x same amount of x already? So now I guess can use plus or minus also can, but I think I will use minus. Is here I get equation three minus equation four. So equation three I just copy on top. Equation four I just copy at the bottom. Correct? So now we use equation three minus equation four. So 2x minus 2x, 0. This one I do quite fast because you can because they don't have any plus minus, so quite easy for you to think about whether using using plus or using minus. So y minus negative 2. Not too sure, can press calculator. Nothing there is 1. So 1, 1 minus negative 2, I get 3y. Okay? 2z minus 2z, 0. 2 minus 2, 0 as well. So what is my y answer from here? Times 3, move there, divide by 3. 0 divided by 3, 0. Don't tell me what, what negative 3 knows. 0 divided by anything is still 0. So it's only y equals to 0 on this moment. You realize from 3 unknown, you straight away reduce them, become 1 unknown, only left y, correct? But the problem is, this y answer and this y answer, do you guys get back the same one? No? One of it, you see, uh, these two y answers supposedly should be the same, correct? But one of it, you get 1. One of it, you get 0. So do the left side and the right side 0? Uh, left side and the right side y, do you guys get back the same answer? No. So whenever one side you get 0, another side you get non-zero, easily is under no solution. Based on what I say on the beginning. Just like that. Done. I scared, I guess you understand. I refresh, okay, whatever you learn. On the starting here. So I repeat again, based on the first two videos, then you now already understand that every single time they want to solve three unknown. You guys will try to reduce it, become two, and slowly reduce it, and, and become one, and then ta-da, you guys will get the answer. So you got two methods. You can use it sub, you can use it elimination. And both methods I already teach you. Just try to view back all the video. And you guys will have three types of answer. First one is normal case where you only have one answer. Sometimes you only have one answer than just the normal one. But sometimes you guys will get left side zero, right side zero. Then that one is infinity answer. That means unlimited answer. So sometimes you guys get one side zero, one side non-zero. That means they are not equivalent. This one is when they have no solution. Just like that. Thank you. Annyeong. Hope you understand. Don't understand, please comment below. Oh, I shouldn't, I forget to say that. Uh, please remember to like and share and subscribe, okay? Share to those friends that who think this chapter is very hard. If you, if you already understand what I say, please try to share to them, okay? Thank you. Bye. Annyeong.